So the Mr. Coffee Frappe hot and cold coffee maker claims that you can make the perfect blended, almost like a Tim Horton style Frappuccino uh, in just a few minutes. So we're gonna try. It comes with all the instructions to make it. It tells you where to fill the ice up, where to fill the milk up and how to make it. And we'll see how well this actually works. I have to admit, I'm a little, I'm not too sure because look at, it just looks so plasticky like even the blender component, like it just looks like a bad food processor. So uh, I'm interested to see if this thing can actually make the perfect iced coffee, or I should say blended iced coffee, frapp, frapp, frappuccino, um, just by following the simple instructions that come with it. So let's go through the process and see if we can get it done. Okay, so step one, we have to turn on our machine. There should be, oh, right there. Okay, and it should blink for the first time, so we should be good to go. Then we wanna take our blender jar and we want to fill this up to the water line. Where is the water line? Okay, so it's showing right there. So not a lot of water. So this is obviously going to be some pretty concentrated coffee, I guess, because it's for uh, Frappuccino. So let's give it a try. There we are, I would say pretty much on the line and we just want to pour it inside our maker here. I don't think you want to add any more because I think it goes based off of how much water is in there. So it's not a huge reservoir, right? Cause this is pretty much, ooh, let's get the rest of that out. This is pretty much for single cups, right? So these are the cups that come with it. It comes with a straw. Comes with a straw as well. Um, so you'll need that. Now we have to fill this up with milk and ice as well. So you have to make sure you have a decent amount of ice. Cause you can see we have to fill this almost halfway up with ice. I don't even know if I have enough ice. I'm hoping I do. If I don't, then rip demonstration. All right, so now we wanna take our coffee scooper. So you can see it comes with a hot coffee scooper. One side will say over ice and one side will say hot brew. So we wanna go ahead and scoop up our coffee. And there's actually a reusable basket inside of our machine here. So this little reusable basket is just where we'll put our grinds inside. So you can see two scoops over ice pretty much packs it right full. And then there's a little knob here. We just wanna put it over top of the grinds, close the lid and that's pretty much it. I like that you can just kind of put this back on the side here. So just knock out the rest of the coffee grinds and then it just kind of fits right into place. I'll kind of show you that little hidden compartment there. Not too bad. Okay, now we wanna fill our milk jug, our, well, our jug up, our blender cup up with milk. So we're gonna see the line right there for milk, and then we're gonna see the line for ice. So you wanna do the milk first, obviously, because that'll use up a little less space for the milk. It's a little hard to see, and I think that's pretty much it. So really not a lot of milk at all. And now we got our ice again, hoping I have enough here. I have like a quarter of a bag. Um, if not, then uh, I don't know. We'll see how things go. I honestly think it's going to be almost the perfect amount, but there's a lot more ice needed than I initially expected, but let's hope. Okay. Actually, I think we'll have enough. Now we're going to go a hundred percent based on the lines. We don't want to cheat this at all because I want to see now, I know there is a little bit of room for error a lot of times with these things. So I would like to leave a little bit of ice just so I can add a little bit more. But I think that's just about it when I account for a little bit of the dead space there. I'll leave, I have a tiny bit left just in case, but hopefully that does the trick. Now, next step. I believe we wanna put this underneath right here. Okay, so we have our blender cup because we're using the blender cup. We can switch it to our smoothie cup after. Okay, so now we're ready to do our coffee. So we wanna go here and we wanna select the over ice option. Now we'll use the amount of water through the coffee grind to put a concentrate. It's gonna be hot, but the ice is gonna cool it down quick. So let's press that and then we're gonna go right into the blending function. Once we add a little bit of sugar or syrup or something like that. So right away we have a very slow drip of, it's like lukewarm. So it's not quite steaming hot, but I know it has to be slightly hot and this is probably gonna also help melt some of that ice. I'm just hoping it doesn't melt too much where this Frappuccino is just fully running. 
Okay, I think that's pretty much it. There's nothing else coming out and that light has gone off. So now really quickly, you can see there's still some ice there and it's kind of starting to melt. Um, I wanna add a little bit of sugar uh, and we could also add some more cream once it's made. I'm just gonna add, I think what's the equivalent of like a tablespoon, don't worry, I'm not adding this whole half cup. Okay, it would probably be better to use like a sugar syrup, like a hazelnut or something like that, but I don't have any with me right now. So we're gonna stick to normal sugar just to sweeten it a little bit. Now we wanna put our blender lid on. This should be a one press, okay? So all we should have to do, lock that on. We gotta find the right twist here. Is that it? Okay, I think that's locked into place. And now it should just be this button right here that says blend, press it once, and then we do have the pulse option as well. But let's just go ahead and click blend and see how it does. Okay, so I think it's done. Now, that was kind of weird. It did a weird, few weird processes. It almost sounds like there's still ice. And actually, I think it's almost perfect. Okay, let's uh, let's check this out. I'm actually really surprised right here. So the biggest thing will be the consistency, right? Like, does this thing actually have a nice, smooth texture to it? Despite me only following the exact instructions that they offer. Let's check it out. We got our nice big cup here. Okay, this should be a perfect fill. We should get a nice, almost creamy, oh my gosh. I don't see any ice. Are we gonna get a full? Oh, we might need a spoon for this last part. Oh, okay. All right, so not, not perfect pour. Always gotta spill something. Okay, now I feel a few small chunks of ice, but nothing crazy. Okay, so here we are. We got our Frappuccino. Check it out. It's actually pretty smooth, like I'm not gonna lie. And I was not, I'm gonna be honest, I was not expecting this to work. Look at that. Super creamy, super smooth. Now taste test. Okay, so I did not add enough sugar. So whether you use like a honey, a sweetener, a syrup, you gotta add more. There is a few chunks of ice in here, but I'm actually really impressed how little ice is actually fully contained inside of this. It's actually really good. <laughs> so for the fact that all I had to do was follow the instructions, you just need ice, a little bit of coffee grinds. You can see I spilt a little bit, but it actually makes a pretty good frappuccino for such a small machine. Now you can also do hot to go as well if you want. Um, that will be for another test demo, but wow, actually a pretty good fra frappuccino.